guys, Jennifer Love here. Welcome back to my channel. It's that time of the year again, back to school. You want to start off the new year right by putting your best foot forward and, of course, looking your best. On top of that, though, school can be pretty expensive. So buying a bunch of expensive name brand products just might not be in your budget. But hey, that's totally okay. A lot of affordable drugstore products do just as good of a job while being a lot nicer to your wallet. Today, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can recreate this peachy soft glam look perfect for back to school or even just a casual night out. If you haven't yet, please don't forget to like and subscribe. It really helps me out. You can also follow me on Instagram and TikTok. Links to those will be in the description below. So if you want to learn how to recreate this look, then stay tuned. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start by priming my face. I'm going to be using the e.l.f. Power Grip Primer. This is a really, really great product. It dries down a little bit tacky. Making all the makeup on top of it, adhere to it really, really well. So I'm just going to be applying a thin coat of this to my entire face. After my e.l.f. Power Grip Primer is completely dried down, I'm going to come in with the e.l.f. <laughs> poreless putty primer. I'm going to use just a little bit of this on any areas where I have a little bit of pore dilation on my face. Uh, myself personally, I have it a little bit on my nose and a slight amount on my forehead here and my chin. So I'm just going to use a little bit of this product to um, fill those pores in a little bit. If you don't have any dilated pores that you have to worry, worry about filling in, then you can skip this step altogether. I'm just gonna remove a little bit with my little makeup knife here. It's important not to be putting your fingers actually inside of products because you're gonna be getting bacteria into the products, which is something we wanna avoid. So I just put a little bit on my hand. I'm gonna warm it up with my finger like this and I'm gonna kind of just dab it onto, onto the areas where I wanna fill my pores in. I want to make sure that I'm patting the product in to make sure that it's filling in those pores. Now that I'm waiting for my primers to set, I'm going to go ahead and get started on my brows. To do my brows, I'm going to be using two separate products. I'm going to be using the NYX Professional Makeup Micro Brow Pencil. And this is in color brunette. And then I'm also going to be using the NYX Lift and Snatch Brow Pencil or brow tint pen, sorry. And I'm gonna be using this to just mimic little hairs. So I'm gonna get started first of all with the NYX brow pencil. And my eyebrows are a little bit sparse. So I'm gonna be using this pencil to just kind of give an outline to my brows. And then I'm gonna come in after and fill in actual hairs with the brow pen. So I'm wanting to just draw an outline for my brows. This is gonna make me know where I need to place the individual hairs with the brow pen later on. So I'm drawing an outline on the bottom of my eyebrow and then I'm gonna come in and draw an outline on the top too. So I'm gonna go ahead and draw the outline on the top too. This is gonna give me a guide for how I want my eyebrows to look. I'm going to brush it out and I'm not going to fill it in. I'm going to fill it in later with my brow pen. I'm going to go ahead and do the other side off. I'm just going to take the spoolie at the end and I'm going to soften the lines a little bit because I don't really want them to show through when I put the uh, brow pen on. And now to draw on the actual brow hairs, I'm going to come in with my NYX brow tint pen and I'm just going to draw little hairs in. And this is going to give me a really nice natural look. I'm drawing the hairs in the direction that my natural hairs are growing in. That's gonna give me the most natural look. I'm being careful not to overdo it when I'm adding these tiny little strokes in, because if I add in too many strokes and they're too densely packed together, it's gonna make my eyebrow look very heavy and very thick, and that's not something that I'm really wanting for my look today. I'm gonna go ahead and do the other side. The next thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just conceal any darkness that I have under my eyes. And to do that, I'm gonna be using the Marcel CC Color Corrector. 
A CC concealer is going to be really highly pigmented, so it's going to really do a great job at hiding any dark spots or any other imperfections on your face that you may have. So instead of touching the actual product stick to my face, I'm gonna go ahead and grab my concealer brush and I'm just gonna put some on the brush. This is gonna ensure that I'm not putting too much product on my face and I'm gonna have a little bit more control over where I'm actually putting it. So I'm just gonna take it and I'm gonna tap it on the areas underneath my eye that I need a little bit more extra coverage. And I'm gonna let this set for a little bit before I blend it in. That's just gonna make sure that the product has a second to actually set into the skin. So when we blend it out, we're still gonna have a really, really nice um, full coverage. At this point too, I'm gonna go ahead and conceal any other imperfections that I have. Like if I have any discoloration or if I have any zits, like I have a little zit over here. I'm just gonna cover that up. While the concealer's setting underneath my eyes and any other problem spots that I might have, before I blend it out, I'm just gonna go ahead and clean up my eyebrows a little bit. And to do that, I'm gonna use the e.l.f. 16 Hour Camo Concealer. This has a matte finish. I'm using mine in medium sand. I just put a little bit on my hand with the applicator. I'm gonna grab that same concealer brush, just put a little bit on, take the excess off, and I'm just gonna carve out my brows. Just gonna make sure that they're really nice and defined and that they have a really good shape. Now this is looking a little bit crazy, I know, but trust the process. We're gonna blend it out. Blend it out, I'm just gonna use this clean, flat foundation brush, and I'm going to just blend out these harsh lines. Now I know that this color is a little bit lighter than my skin, but it's gonna act as a highlight around my brow and we're gonna blend the color out when we add our face tint anyway. Now the brows are looking nice and snatched. I'm gonna go on to my next step, which is the foundation step, but I'm actually not gonna use a foundation. Generally in my everyday day-to-day -day makeup, I don't. What I do instead is I use a sheer colored tint and then I add it with a camo cream. I really like to do this because the sheer tint gives a really nice radiant natural glow to the skin, while the camo CC cream just adds a little bit more coverage. For my sheer tint, I'm using the Marcel Sheer Tint Moisturizer. This is really great because it also has an SPF of 30, and I have it in the color Beige Lumiere, and I'm gonna be mixing this with the e.l.f. Camo Cream. I use both of these products all the time. These are definitely two of my go-to products. This is a color correcting, full coverage, natural finish CC cream, and I'm using it in the shade Medium. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually mix both of these products together. For today, I'm gonna do about a 50-50 ratio. If you were looking for something a little bit more sheer, you would wanna use more of the sheer tint, or if you were leaning towards more of a fuller coverage, you'd wanna use more of the Camo Cream. Today, I'm gonna do 50-50, so I'm just gonna to add some of the sheer tint to my hand. Then I'm gonna add CC Camo Cream as well. I have about a 50-50 ratio right there. And then I'm gonna take a found flat foundation brush, just gonna mix it up. And then I'm gonna use the foundation brush just to apply it onto my face. And I'm gonna pull it down my neck a little bit as well. Next, I'm gonna be coming in with this buffing foundation brush and I'm just gonna buff the color into my skin making sure that it's all evenly applied. When I'm doing this, I'm doing kind of like a tapping and pulling motion. So I'm tapping it onto my skin and pulling it down. That's gonna ensure that it's really, really nicely blended. Now that I have my mixture of the sheer tint and the camo cream um, nicely blended onto my face, I'm just gonna take a damp beauty blender and bounce it all over my skin. This is just gonna make sure that it's completely blended and this is gonna give us a really, really nice airbrush skin-like effect. Now that our base is complete, we're gonna move on to highlight and contour as well as doing our blush. I'm gonna do my highlight, contour, and blush in three separate stages. A lot of the time on Instagram and TikTok, you see it all kind of done in one stage, which a lot of the times is done on Instagram and TikTok because while it looks really nice and it looks great on video, you know, watching it all get blended out is so satisfying. But in reality, makeup artists usually do it step by step because when you do it all at once like that, you run the risk of kind of making it look a little bit muddy. I'm gonna start out with doing my contour first. To be honest, when I was at my local drugstore, I kind of had a, I kind of had trouble finding any cream contours. And the only one that I did find was the one that was by NYX. And to be honest, I used it a while ago when it first came out. 
And I didn't really like it that much. I didn't think that it had enough pigment to it. So I went ahead and I grabbed a concealer. You can definitely use concealer to contour, but you have to make sure that the shade isn't too warm because the whole point of contouring is creating a kind of like a shadow effect. And if you use a contour color that's too warm, it's not gonna create a shadow effect. So this is the best one that I found. It is the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer and I have it in shade 60 Cocoa. I'm just taking a little bit and I'm putting it onto my hand. Then I'm gonna take this e.l.f. Elf sculpting brush and I'm just gonna put the product into the brush and then I'm gonna apply it to where I want contour. So I definitely wanna chisel out my cheek. This area right here I find is the most underrated place when you're trying to carve out your cheek because having a shadow here is really gonna make this area pop. So we wanna make sure that we're adding a contour to that spot. I'm gonna add some contour to my forehead and my jaw. I'm also gonna contour my chin a little bit here. And then with a smaller little concealer brush, I'm gonna contour around my lips. This is gonna give us a really nice full pouty look to our lips, to the top as well as the bottom. Then I'm gonna contour my nose. I'm only gonna contour the tip of my nose and just right here like that. And now I'm gonna take a smaller beauty sponge and I'm gonna start blending it all out. Doing my cheekbone, I wanna make sure that I'm blending upwards to my jaw. Now that my contour is all nice and blended, I'm gonna go in with my blush. For my blush today, I'm gonna to be using the e.l.f. Putty Blush. To be honest, I threw out the package for this already and it doesn't say what the color is on the package, like on the actual container, but I'll just show you guys. It's this really, really nice kind of like peachy coral color, which is gonna like look really, really nice with the makeup look we're doing today. I'm just gonna take my little tool once again, making sure it's clean of any other product. And I'm gonna take a little bit out of the container. I'm gonna put a little bit on my hand like this. Then I think I'm just gonna go ahead and apply it with my finger since it is a putty. I'm gonna just apply it right above where I have my contour. Now this is a buildable product, so you can put as much or as little as you want to, and it's gonna to melt into the skin really really well. I'm gonna go ahead and do the other side as well. Now that I have it all applied to both of my cheeks I'm just gonna come in with another beauty blender. I want you guys to take note that I'm not using the same beauty blender to do my highlight, contour, and blush. I'm actually using a separate one for each different step. That's gonna make sure that I'm not actually mixing the products together. That could make it so you end up with a really like muddy base. This way you stop everything from getting muddy. So I'm just using my sponge and I'm gonna blend out any harshness from the blush. I found the name, it's actually on the side. It's called Bahamas, so. Sorry about that. <laughs> now that my blush is nicely blended, I'm gonna go ahead and do my highlighting and I'm gonna use the e.l.f. 16 hour camo concealer again for that. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of the product on my hand and then I'm gonna use my concealer brush and just apply it to any areas that I wanna highlight. So I wanna highlight here on the inner corner of my eye. I wanna highlight on top of my cheekbone. I also wanna highlight here a little bit and here a little bit. That's gonna give me a really nice uplifted look and I wanna chisel or highlight right underneath my contour, that's gonna make my contour really, really pop under my cheekbone. Um, I'm gonna do this all on the other side. I'm also gonna do my forehead right here and a little bit on the tip of my nose. Another part that I wanna highlight is my Cupid's bow. And I don't remember what these are called, but these little things right here. Oh, we can't forget the chin. Now I'm gonna go in with my third beauty sponge and I'm gonna blend in my highlight, blending underneath my cheekbone. When I'm blending underneath my cheekbone here, what I'm doing is I'm kind of patting the beauty blender in and then I'm pulling it down. You don't wanna be blending up with the highlighter because then you're gonna make it mixed up with the contour and then you're gonna get kind of a muddy look. When I'm blending out these areas here by my lip and beside my nostrils, I wanna make sure that I'm blending the product upwards kind of going this way. That's gonna give our makeup look a really nice lifted look. Make sure I'm doing the same thing to both sides. Blend out the highlight underneath my eye. And I'm just gonna use my finger to blend it on the tip of my nose. And I'm just gonna go in with my larger blender once again and just make sure that the highlight is blended out really softly. 
Now I'm gonna go in with a little bit of liquid highlighter just to highlight my cheekbones. Now I didn't actually buy a liquid highlighter. I actually bought a liquid eyeshadow, but I figured, hey, this could be a multi-use item and I can use it on my eye and to highlight my cheekbones. So let's go ahead and give that a try. This is the NYX, what does it say? Ultimate Glow Shots Brightening Liquid Eyeshadow. And it is in the cover color Wow Cacao. I just think this has a really nice, like shimmery glow look to it. I'm only gonna put a little bit because it's pretty highly pigmented due to it being an eyeshadow. I'm gonna blend that in with my finger. I'm only wanting to make sure that I add it to where the light naturally reflects off of my cheekbone. I don't wanna be like adding it in the whole area. Do the same to the other side. I think that turned out really good, especially for a liquid eyeshadow. I honestly just love it when you can use products so versatilely. It's a huge money saver. Now that my liquid highlighter is all blended in, I'm just gonna go ahead and lightly set my face. I'm gonna use the e.l.f. HD powder. This is another one of my go-tos that I use basically every single day. I'm gonna go ahead and apply it very lightly to my skin. Next thing that I'm gonna do is add a little bit of bronzer just to warm up the contour that I did. I'm gonna be using the Marcel Eye Bronze and I'm using it in matte. To do my bronzing, I'm just using this fluffy angled brush and I'm gonna work it into the product. I'm gonna tap the excess off and I'm just gonna add some where I wanna warm my face up. On the forehead here, just above where I had my contour, along my jawline and my chin. And I'm gonna pull it down my neck a little bit too, just to warm up that area. Because it tends to not get as tanned as the rest of our face. I'm also gonna use the same bronzer just to do a little bit of contour on my nose. If you're using a bronzer to contour your nose, def you definitely wanna make sure that you're using a matte bronzer because any shadowy bronzer is just gonna make your nose look really like super shiny, which myself personally is not really something that I want. So I'm just using this to define the sides of my nose. My nose is a little bit bigger at the tip, so I like to just contour it at the tip, making it look a little bit smaller. Then I'm gonna buff it all out. And now that our base is done, I'm just gonna go ahead and set it with a setting spray. That way we know that our base is gonna last all day. I'm using the e.l.f. Stay All Day Micro Setting Mist. This is another product that I actually use every single day. I think it's really, really good. It performs well and it's nice and affordable. Just gonna spray that all over my face. I shouldn't have been talking while I was doing that because I got it in my mouth, but that's okay. And then I'm gonna take my Beauty Blender once again, and I'm just gonna push the setting spray into the product. And this is gonna make sure that it melts really, really nicely into the product that's already in my skin. And it's gonna kind of melt all the layers together, giving a really nice flawless look. And it's really, really gonna make our product last all day long. Now that our base is set, I'm gonna move on to doing the eyes. First thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna apply some eyeshadow primer to my eyelid. That's not only gonna make sure that my eyeshadow blends really well, but it's also going to ensure that my eyeshadow lasts all day long. Today I'm going to be using the Milani eyeshadow primer. I really like this product because it's really, really lightweight. So I'm going to put a little bit on my hand and then I'm going to pat my finger into it. I'm just going to gently pat that onto my eyelid. I love this because it's really, really lightweight and it's going to do a great job of priming the eyelid without building up too much product. I'm going to wait 30 seconds for this product to dry down. And then I'm just gonna add a little bit of uh, my setting powder. Now that 30 seconds have passed and the eyeshadow primer's dry, I'm just gonna grab my setting powder and with a small powder brush, just gonna powder the eyelids. This is gonna make sure that the eyeshadow applies very smoothly and doesn't get patchy at all. Eye makeup look today, I'm gonna be using the NYX Professional Makeup Ultimate Shadow Palette. And this is in the palette Warm Neutrals. So the first thing that I'm gonna start out with is my base color. I'm gonna pack it onto my brush and I'm just gonna apply it underneath my brow bone down to my lid. Now I'm gonna take my crease brush and this color here, just gonna add it to the crease of my eye. Make sure that I blend it out really well. And then I'm gonna use this color right here and I'm just gonna use it as a transition shade to my base color and my crease color. So I'm lightly blending above my crease. And then I'm also gonna use this color right here just to darken and deepen the crease just on the outer corners of my eye. Then I'm gonna use a little bit of my initial crease shade 
just to blend that in really well. Now it's time for some eyeliner. Today, instead of using a black eyeliner, I've opted to use a brown liner. That's just to keep it a the look a little bit more soft and daytime appropriate. Not to say that you can't use black eyeliner in the day because I do all the time. I just think that this will look really nice with the makeup look. The eyeliner that I'm using today is the NYX Epic Wear Liner Stick and it is in the color Deepest Brown. I'm gonna go ahead and apply it only to the outer half of my lash line. And then I'm gonna take an, eye an angled eyeliner brush and I'm just gonna blend it out so the eyeliner is like really nice and soft. And I'm gonna pull it outwards a little bit, kind of creating like a soft cat eye. And then I'm gonna take this kind of like shimmery metallic dark brown color here and I'm just gonna use that to soften the eyeliner a bit. And I'm also gonna use the same color that I used for my base just to kind of like blend the line in a little bit more. I'm just using this base color to soften the eyeliner a little bit more. I'm gonna move on to the under part of my eye now and I'm not gonna put any eyeliner or, any, or anything down there. I'm actually gonna wanna keep it pretty light and soft. I'm gonna take this really small kind of dome brush and I'm gonna put it into the base color that I was using once again. I'm gonna tap off the excess and I'm just gonna put that all underneath my eye and I'm gonna put it a little bit on the inner corner as well. And then I'm gonna use my angled brush again and I'm gonna push it into the crease color, tap off the excess, and I'm just gonna lightly put it underneath my lash line. Pulling it about three quarters of the way. Then I'm gonna grab that same little dome brush and I'm gonna kind of just blend it. Next, I'm gonna come in with the liquid eyeshadow that I used for my cheek highlighter. And I'm just gonna add a little bit to my lid, putting some on my hand. Then I'm gonna grab this little tiny flat brush. I'm gonna put some on, applying it to my lid. I'm also gonna put a little bit of the liquid eyeshadow on the inner part of my eye and right underneath my brow bone. It's gonna give it a really nice highlight. Now we're ready to move on to the false eyelashes. I've already gone ahead and prepped my eyelashes off camera. All I did was give them a little bit of curl at the base and I added a little bit of mascara. The lashes that I'm gonna be using today are the Kiss Look So Natural Lashes. They're in the type flirty. What I'm gonna be doing today for my look is instead of using the whole lash, I'm gonna use the half of the lash. So I'm just gonna kind of cut the eyelash in half and I'm I'm gonna use the first part of it on the outer corner of my eye. I went ahead and I removed the lashes from the lash tray and now all I'm gonna do is I'm literally gonna cut it right in the middle. Now we have this really nice half lash which is so perfect for daytime wear. So I'm gonna take the front half of my lash. I'm just gonna apply some glue to it. I'm also gonna apply a little bit of glue to the outer corner of my lash line. That's gonna stop it from lifting up. And I'm gonna wait 30 seconds for it to all dry. And now that the lash glue is dry, I'm just gonna go right ahead and apply the false lashes. Now that I have both of the lashes glued on, I'm just gonna add a little bit of mascara to completely blend my lashes in with the false lashes. If you'd like to learn some more tips and tricks on how to apply false eyelashes, you can go check out my video on how to apply false eyelashes flawlessly. A link to that will be in the description below. And last but certainly not least, we're gonna finish off our look with a really, really nice peachy kind of lipstick. First thing that I'm gonna do is line my lips. I'm using the e.l.f. Love Triangle Lip Filler. And that's in the color Soft Pink. I'm gonna do the Cupid's Bow first. I'm gonna do the bottom. Now I'm gonna meet my cupid's bow up with my inner corner. Gonna fill it in just a little bit. And now I'm gonna come in with my lipstick. I'm using the Milani Matte Beauty shade 69. It's a really nice matte lipstick. And I'll apply that to the lips. Now we're gonna top it off with a lip gloss. This is a long wear lip gloss, so it's gonna last you all day long. It's the Infallible 8 Hour Pro Gloss, and it is in the color Nude Petal. Honestly, guys, like if you want to have a full color glossy lip, your best bet is to use a matte lipstick and then go on top of it with this Infallible Lip Gloss. Like I've been using this lip gloss for years, and it just lasts so long. When it says it lasts eight hours, Girl, it's not lying. It really lasts eight hours. I'm just gonna apply that to my lips. It's just adding a really nice shine to my lip color. Gonna blot that off once again because you don't wanna be walking around with lipstick on your teeth. 
And then I'm gonna finish the look off with setting it with my e.l.f. setting spray once again. And that's the finished look. What do you guys think? That's the end of the video, guys. I really hope that you found it helpful. And I hope that I was also able to show you that affordable drugstore products can really perform just as well as the expensive name brand ones. Don't forget, you don't have to spend a million bucks to look like a million bucks. If you haven't yet, please don't forget to like and subscribe. I'm a new YouTuber, so it would really, really help me out. Until next time, guys. Bye.